Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a video. I thought I would do a little bit of a jewelry haul. I wanted to show you a gorgeous handbag. And I really want to test the internet. I hate to say it, but they're not coming till the 30th. And um, I'm putting up with what I have right now. And hopefully with the new modem, they will improve the stream that I've been having because I've been having quite a quite a bit of a problem with the the live streaming not with anything that i download or anything that i do in the chats or anything like that but just for some reason there's blurriness and all of that going on so i hope that you can let me know as soon as you can uh how the stream is going because i don't want to get started with a jewelry jar if it's going to be messed up so let me open another window and see who's here and i want to thank you so much for being here as well Let's see. Okay, so let me know how I sound as well because I just muted myself on the video and so far it's looking good good excuse me for scratching my nose i'm getting over something or <laughs> really getting into something with this flu or cold or something but it has not been pleasant all weekend it's such a shame i have relatives over my son from chicago is here and it's just been so hard to wake up with not feeling well but they're out and about at um an event today and they'll be back in a couple hours and then we're going to meet up for some barbecue all right so it looks like jill is here and jude and cheryl and barbara and bambi and a purple lily which is lydia i believe azura dawn robin fisher violet brown and cheryl boucher bambi guys thanks so much for being here i hope you take the time to hit the thumbs up when you walked in the door if not it's not too late to do it now before you leave i know we're all anxious to get to some other videos later on but you know it's getting really crowded on youtube and we can't always be in two places at once though i do try and i have been in three live chats at once <laughs> but i'll try my best to get through i did want to show you guys if you haven't had the chance to see my necklace that was made handcrafted by by Sandy Wassman, who will be on the MSP auction show tonight. This is it here. And I bought this from her in her auction last year. I think that was about the second auction she did. She'd been introduced. Oh, my gosh. Now my neighbor's alarm just went off. Oh, there it went. Good. Okay. And it's kind of a Southwest style, which is kind of her, her signature. It's got a beautiful bale, which I noticed she did on that cross that she's going to auction tonight. And then it's got a feather motif. So I love it. I do have it on a longer chain. I think I've showed it to you guys in an outfit of the day and in other uh, videos where I wore it short. I wore it on a collar, a hammered collar from James Avery. And then she sold it to me with a beautiful rope chain that fell about here. So it looks great no matter what. And then I found this really long James Avery chain with a really tiny little James Avery Texas map charm. And I thought it would look good so I wouldn't have to take off the ones that I'm wearing today. And I thought I would just put it on. Look how cute that is. I love it. So I wanted to show you that so that you guys can get excited for all her beautiful items that will be in that show tonight. I did link that MSP auction channel on my last video, I'll possibly do it on this one and a few more going forward because I will be on that auction next week on the first and I will have jewelry and I will have jewelry jars, a virgin jar as well as open jars and handbags and I'll have some mid-century decor and just all kinds of stuff. I like to mix it up. I don't just want to do jewelry, handbags, of course. All right, so I wanted to show you this gorgeous handbag that I got from... Um, Roland Picker sent it to me. He bought it for me on Cindy Loves Jewelry's auction. And I just wanted to show it to you because it's so interesting that we always think that video can be pretty accurate and we're always, you know, lauding the, the properties of, of video and how you can use them in some of your sales. Like I think on, you, on uh, eBay, you could put in video. But it just does not even come close to justifying the beauty of this bag, guys. It is all tapestry hand embroidered not i don't know if it's hand embroidered but it's embroidered and it's so pretty it is kind of a uh not a silky texture but a, a really nice i don't know it looks like a beautiful cushion or something it's just so perfect such a cute little size 
And she was auctioning it off and, and Roland and I were, Mike and I were fighting for it and he bought it and had her send it to me. So that was so sweet of him. He's such a gentleman, such a wonderful man. And uh, how's the picture going so far, guys? I don't see the the chat moving too much. Okay, is it still okay? Hey, Uniquely Me. I think I did say hello to Jude. Thank you so much for being here, guys. And Jill. Did, did Guillermo pop in? Hi, Guillermo and Pam. Jennifer, Patty R. So you know how Cindy is. I've, uh, I did one of her unboxings when she first started her little bargain boxes, I think she calls them. I did an unboxing here on my channel and I was beyond expectations as well. Just taken aback by all the beautiful things that she sends and she always sends extras as well. So um, yeah, it's beautiful inside as well, guys. It's from Kara made in the USA. And then she put more freebies inside because just is how cool she is. But I just wanted to show you the inside of it. And um, I mean, it's just so perfect. Satin line. It says Kara made in the USA. It's got the prettiest little snap kiss there. Very much a lady purse. I like to call these. And it has feet too. So I wanted to show you what was in it because I haven't even looked in it. I haven't even seen every, hey, Catherine, how are you? Everything that she sent, but we're going to look through that. Here's some paper she used for, for stuffing, and uh, that's a, always nice so things don't jiggle around, and then we will open a little jar, and if the stream is good, I'll do a, a bigger jar, but I really wanted to do this one too because this one has some sterling that I see right there. It's $25, but I wanted to show you the jars that I'm going to offer or the one virgin jar that I'm going to offer at my auction because I'm choosing between these. They're doing a lot of bags now, guys. The jars are getting a little harder to come by. Only at one Goodwill do I find the jars. The rest seem to have the bags. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. This is pretty. This is a beautiful statement piece, Cindy. Thank you. So she just put that in the, in the bag and it has the matching earrings. It's the prettiest kind of a mint green color that is so nice isn't that purse beautiful Harley I love it I'm gonna wear it I've said before that I want to just put it in a glass case and look at it but I'm definitely going to use that purse it's just so pretty so that was very nice of her and then she sent me a little Christmas brooch as well she's so sweet and um, yeah, she always has really nice items. And this is a silver tongue, which is kind of rare too, guys, isn't it? In the Christmas trees, in the Christmas jewelry, it seems like we always see gold tone. But that was very, very nice of her. And like I said, here's the bag. Let me show it one more time for those of you just popping in. She was auctioning off this vintage bag. She finds amazing things over in her neck of the woods over in Arkansas. She finds beautiful things and she gets bargain jewelry bags, bargain jewelry bags with beautiful items. And then she also runs an antique um, stall there. She has her own little uh, antique booth. So she's always hunting her fellow antique booth keepers there as well. So guys, she finds wonderful things. She is going to be on Rolling Pickers channel. I know very shortly, probably in 30 minutes or so. So catch her. Hey, Tammy, how are you? And uh, I will come back with another handbag haul, guys, because I'm going to probably put some of those handbags in my auction. I have found some great handbags. You've probably seen some, but I have found some new ones. And I'm going to put in some vintage Doonies and things like that that I think you guys might appreciate. And, you know, if you love handbags the way I do, I really think you'll like them. And I just this I don't know if you guys can see this dresser right here next to me. It's like a tall boy with three or four. It's got one, two, and then three, five, six, um, what do you call it, drawers. And they're full of handbags. And then the armoire behind me is also full of handbags. So, yeah, I just can't stop. But I will be offering some of those. All right, so I wanted to show you the big uh, bags, guys. Because I've been getting these. Oh, my God, my magnet stuck to it. I've been getting these and they've been running anywhere from 40. This one was actually 49 from 49 to 39. And I think I even got one for 59. Okay, and then this one was 39 the other day and I got two of these. So one of these is the one I'm not going to open and believe me, it's going to stress me out. 
it's going to stress me out not to open it, but I think, like my husband said, you lose nothing. Some of your, uh, you know, the bidders are going to win and you win because they're going to buy it. And, you know, that's part of the fun. I think that that's, that's the best part of a jewelry jar is not knowing what's in it. And of course, I'm going to have open jars too. I'm going to show you what's in it. I'm going to have a mid-century collection of brooches and kind of a mix also where you can have necklaces and everything. So I really want to do that for the auction, but I definitely want to offer you a virgin jewelry jar because people have always wanted to buy them from me and I don't want to sell them usually. I just don't. I mean, I just feel like they're, they may be on the, on the way out. People are really, you know, not finding them in some places. San Antonio doesn't carry them. Austin doesn't carry them. Uh, and I'm just afraid it's going to happen to Houston, but it's not very often that I do an auction. I only do it on MSP auction. I don't do any here. I don't do any sales here. So I want to offer something that's really worthwhile. And I think that I always find something, one or two things, wonderful things. I've hit the jackpot many times and I want one of you guys to do that too. So do you guys want me to start with the little jar? How's the stream again? I guess I'm going to do the little jar. Or do you want me to do one of those big bags? Let me know. Vote big or little in the in the chat. Because what time is it? I turn off my phone. It is four. Yeah, we have about 40 minutes before um Roland Picker starts with his interview. It, it looks good. All right. So I can do one of the big ones. See, I want you to vote on which one I'm gonna offer too. A little one. Okay, let's do a little one. Oh, Guillermo wants a little one. Everybody else wants a big one. Yeah, let's go big. Okay. Oh, this one has sterling, guys. I can tell. You see, this is one, another reason why I wanted to offer a small jar, too, because I've gotten really good stuff in the good jars, too. I mean, in the little jars. I wanted to offer a little one, too. For, I may, Maybe I'll do that for the auction, for the virgin jar section. Yeah, I think I may do that. All right. You know which one I'm going to do? I'm going to do this one. Wait. Yeah, this one. It came from a completely different Goodwill. That was the first time I ever find a jewelry jar in there. Okay, I'm going to do this one. And it only had like an X and a 1, and I forgot what that price was. But it was very unusual that they didn't have the price tag on it, and it was unusual that I found one. So I'm going to open this one. And I rarely go to that thrift store, that Goodwill. I rarely go there. I think I've been there a few times in the last... I hadn't been there in about two or three years because it's not close to my house. It's not close to my work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to open this one. And then I saw it and I was like, and it was like in the middle of the week, in the middle of the afternoon, late afternoon. So I did not expect to see one there because you got to jump on these things in the mornings. I'm over by my work and here by my house. You got to get there and wait in line. I'm not kidding. Like Black Friday every Saturday. Me and this other lady are always there on time. Sometimes they let her in early. Sometimes they let me in here. This is a big pile, guys. And look, I think I got some jade. Oh, my gosh. You see, you guys are going to win something nice. I just know it. And I hope you guys do at least pictures. Guillermo, when he won one of my jars, he sent pictures, and it was really sweet. This looks like jade, guys. It's nice and cold. I'll have to look at it closer, though, because it has. Jade seems to have, like, little black specks, don't you think? If That's what I have found. It has, like, little tiny little black specks. I don't see that. But it's nice and it's small too. They seem to run small too. Do you guys think think this is a jade bangle? I don't know, but it's cute. Really cute. I have found a jade bangle before. Of course, we got to watch. It's a pretty one and it's a white one. Yeah, a white watch. Hey, Jennifer Hayes and Deborah Little Santos. Kathy Valentine. Here's a cute little bangle too. It's got a swirl design. Purple on the inside and blue all the other areas. Wow, now that the stream is good, just watch. When they give me a new modem on the day before the auction, it's probably going to mess up. I hope not. I hope not. If not, we'll have to resort to doing my phone. But we'll see. I don't want it to be like that because I won't be able to show you the, pic the handbags. This is like a wooden bangle. Lots of bangles. Here's a acrylic, plastic, something purple kind of geometric round and then squared and then silver on the inside oh my gosh you won't believe what happened to my thanksgiving dinner guys it was amazing i made it a great great dressing that i found 
the recipe here on YouTube. My son could not stop lauding it. He thought it was the best thing ever because my mother usually makes the dressing, but she isn't feeling well enough to do it. And then she made a little bit at home, but it was so good. But you know what I forgot to do? I messed up my pumpkin pies. I forgot to put sugar in them and everybody tasted them and they were like, what, what, what? <laughs> They didn't know what to say. I was sad. But the, the pecan pies were great. They were absolutely fabulous. I still have a whole pie in the fridge. This is really pretty, guys. It's peach, and these are crystals inside. These beads on the inside of the squares, they're glass or crystal. But, yeah, I totally a little blurry now. You see? That's what happens. Okay, good. Maybe it's when I move too much, too. But we'll try to get through it. If not, we'll come back. All right, this is really cute. I like this necklace a lot. I'm going to put the necklaces over here. A couple more bangles. Uh, this one's pretty. It looks like Murano glass, but it's plastic. And it's kind of wide at the front. It's kind of cool. It really is. Here's a blue one. So, yeah, I really messed it up. I, I knew that was going to happen. I was doing like 10,000 things at once. I did everything, and it turned out pretty good, though. The turkey was perfect. Everybody was saying, you need to brine it. Why aren't you going to brine it? Don't you hate that when people tell you what to do? My daughters were telling me. And I was like, you know what? I've never brined it before. Maybe y'all have, but I haven't. And I have done a few turkeys. This is cute. It's like a big puffy heart. And the turkey was absolutely fabulous. Hey, Cindy, how are you? I was just talking about you and talking about that pretty purse and telling everyone you're going to be on that interview later with Roland Picker. And I love the Christmas brooch and the statement necklace guys i don't know if this opens it has to open look it has a latch there it is so cute anyway so no my turkey was so juicy and so fabulous it was great the yams were amazing the mashed potatoes gosh they tasted like from a restaurant again i just watched a lot of youtube videos just to get new ideas you know i and then i kind of just do my own it's a little metal uh, cross with a gold, I mean, a uh, black onyx looking stone. It's on a cheap little necklace, though, like a suede. I don't really care for that. Um, what else did I make? I made some zucchini and then I made two kinds of dressing because my daughter in law is um, allergic to flour and eggs and all kinds of things. So I made one out of cornstarch and it was good too. And oh, I put uh, turkey legs in the dressing. It was so good. Oh my goodness, this is cute. A little, they're kind of like shells. Little dangly stretch bracelet. That's really cute. I like that. Hey, how are you, Dia? More hourglass there, Kathy Valentine. I think I said hello to you. Okay, that's a cute one. So everything else turned out nice, but I did forget the sugar. What a bummer. Oh, look at this one. This is pretty. But you know why? Because I was reading two different recipes. There is a pumpkin pie mix that you don't have. It looks like it has to be latched right there, though. You don't have to put sugar. And then there's one that you do, just the old-fashioned kind. You add everything, right? Well, the one that I was reading, I accidentally bought the other one. I was reading that one. And then I actually think I made the other one. And I just totally messed it up. Just messed it up. That's all I can say. Oh, these are cute. These look really nice, but I don't know if they're, they're interesting earrings. Look at the clip. Or are they shoe clips? I think they're shoe clips. You cannot put that on your ear, guys. Look at that. Look at the front. These would look so pretty on some black pumps. I think these are shoe clips. They are nice. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. There's about 50 of you watching. There's only two thumbs up. So please go over there and hit that thumb, make it turn blue for me. It really helps grow the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, here is a New York and Company one, but it's tangled up with a small necklace. Let me get that out of there. Pretty. It's got some rings. Multi-strand. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? So glad you're here. This and that. All right, and here is a... And enamel, bangle, really cute. Am I shipping in Montreal, Canada? For my auction that I'm having on the first on MSP Auctions, 
I will ship to Canada. It will cost extra, a little bit more than it does in the U.S., but I'll definitely ship there. Okay, this looks like an anklet. It says Korea. You can tell that it says Korea already. But it's not silver, but it is an anklet. Just a silver one. And here's some big earrings button. I'm going to throw that in my little gold collector here. This is an interesting bangle, guys. Look how big that is. That's wood. And it has sort of a bamboo design around it. Or wicker. I think it's supposed to look like wicker or something. That is really interesting. That's not bad. Again, this was, what did I tell you guys? I believe it was about 29 It was a little cheaper than the other Goodwills. But I had did not expect to see one in the middle of the afternoon there. And I just stopped just because I decided to go by there. But I rarely go there. I hadn't been to that Goodwill in two years. Literally in about two years. Oh, here's a pretty pink one. So it's not a nice bag. Not, I mean, it's not a bad bag. It's a pretty nice one. This is cute. I love green and pink. Love green and pink. Oh, are they on strike again? I don't know. I have sent uh, some handbags to one of my subscribers. She liked my handbags, and I think she's bought two. And it's been a little bit more. I mean, not a whole, but considering the fact that a handbag is heavy, I think it was like $8 more extra because it would have been about $10, and it was about $18 to ship a handbag to Canada. This is pretty. That has that bronze and it has sort of a verdigris enamelation. Enamelation. <laughs> Making up words here. An enameled um, design. Really pretty. I like that. And here's a hair accessory. Don't care for that. And some broken things in here, guys, too. But. Like this little stretchy bracelet. I'll put this kind of stuff in a bead lot. I'll also be offering a bead lot for the auction. And that's where I will put things like stretched out bracelets, beads that are very, very nice, but they're missing. Let's say they're a necklace and they're missing the um, the clasp. I've put those in a bead lot because they're just really, really pretty. And people can do things with them, restring them. These are nice. They look like crystal, but they're all plastic and pearls. And the stretch is still pretty nice on that as well. No, this is not the Chicago bag. This is one that I picked up at a Goodwill. I'm trying to show everyone the bags that I'm going to offer at the MSP auction as a virgin bag. So these are the size bags that I will be auctioning off. And I've paid everywhere from $50 to $40 to $30 for them. Here's another one. I have about four of these. And uh, that's the kind of bag that you're going to see at the at the MSP auction as a virgin bag. I will not open it. I will not look through it. I will not fix you a bag. This is going to be a bag that's going to cause you anxiety and happiness, just the way it does me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to I'm not going to curate it in any way, shape, or form. I am going to have open bags too. So I'll do and I'll call them open face bags, where I will put things like necklaces and earrings and just a potpourri of everything so that you can have a choice. I'm also going to have a sterling silver lot, all sterling jewelry, all uh, sellable sterling jewelry, not damaged in any way. So you'll see, and I'm still kind of working out the kinks for everything that I want to offer you guys at my auction. Look how pretty this little Valentine brooch is. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. She's got an arrow. It's Cupid. He's got his arrow. Very nice. It does look like it was probably handcrafted. But it's lovely. It's kind of like a mirrored back part there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, her auction does not start simply, Sandy. Her auction does not start until 7 p.m. tonight. So she doesn't need for me to finish. Her auction starts at 7 p.m. tonight. And we're still going to see Cindy be interviewed by... Um, by Roland Picker at five o'clock. So we still have 30 minutes. In the auction, do, Guillermo, have you uh, bid on uh, MSP auctions before? All you have to do is use a PayPal and all you have to do is register with Dwayne at MSP auctions. You just need to send him the email. All that information will be at the auction tonight at 7 p.m. I don't know where Sandy 
R got her information, but it's incorrect. Simply Sandy R, it's incorrect. Um, they will give you all of the information as to the email that you need to send to Dwayne. And it, Dwayne will need your real name, your PayPal name, and your YouTube name because people have different names. This is just a children's bracelet. People have different names, and it's very confusing once you start winning. And then she's trying to send you an email, and it's a different name. So she, he just needs you to send him all that information before you start bidding. And that way it's it's nice and ready because once the bidding starts, guys, they're going to be really hammering for her beautiful jewelry. And like I showed you earlier, I, that was what I opened with. I showed you the piece that I bought from her in her one of her first auctions. And it was handcrafted by Sandy. It is signed. It's a beautiful Native American design. So uh, believe me, I'm here to promote Sandy. I'm not here to uh, do anything other than that. And uh, I've linked the channel in my previous video i will link it in this video as well i'm constantly lauding her work because she's amazing amazing craftsman and uh, yeah i got this from her i won't even tell you how much because it was worth three times that so be ready to bid it up tonight guys she'll be on at 7 p.m be sure and register with Dwayne at MSP Auctions, but he will give you all that information right as the, at the start of the show, okay? Don't wait for the last minute for you to find something that you like, because it's going to be too late. These people are going to bid up this stuff. It is gorgeous. She's made turquoise. Hey, Sandy, how are you? And just coral pieces, amazing pieces. So don't wait for you to see something. Go ahead and email Dwayne as soon as you hit uh, the channel, and that way you'll be ready. He'll be, you know, you, there's no charge or anything to register. He'll just have your information. And then when you find something that you love, you'll be ready to bid it up like everybody else. All right. And it will be PayPal. It's Sandy's PayPal. And she'll give all that information as well in the auction itself. It'll all be in the chat and it'll be in the description box. I'm sure. Look how pretty this is, guys. This is a really nice statement piece. I love it. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Yeah, and um, it's 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 not at six, isn't it? It's at seven, isn't it? I thought it was at seven. Please correct us, Sandy. I thought it was seven central. Everybody's in different time zones. Okay, here's a little key charm. So let us know exactly the time there for most people. We would have to figure it out, the rest of us, but... Okay, here's a silver earring, kind of cute. Silver and gold, actually. All right. Yeah, here's a little Paris charm. Some of this stuff is tangled, so we may have to come back so we don't spend too much time untangling like these beads. But I like this little Paris charm. Here it is. It's on a neck chain. Oh, it's cute. It's got some little pearls and crystals. Yeah, that's what I thought, Cindy. It's at 7 Central. It's at 7 Central, and your interview is starting in 30 minutes. So I'll be off of here so we can all see your interview with Roland Picker. And I've talked about that as well, um, telling everyone that you're going to be on there, Miss Cindy. So that'll be great. Okay. Here's an acrylic bangle with some crystals inside, or glitter rather, all around it. All right, here's another wood. This is a pretty good bag, guys. I'm really impressed with the bangles. They're not cheap. They're very, very nice. Here's another wooden one with a nice geometric shape. And here's a pretty one with really interesting colors, yellow, orange, and green. Absolutely, Sandy. You know that's what I absolutely appreciate about you is your talent. And I, I want everyone to know about it. So every chance I get, Miss Sandy, you know I talk about it. I I even wore my beautiful necklace today for the occasion. And I wore it on a long chain. Look how cute it looks on a long chain too, Sandy. Because I know you sent it to me in that beautiful rope chain. And then I've worn it short with my little hammered collar. But I love it on this long chain too. It's just gorgeous. I mean, you know, you have a little ensemble here. So I was telling them about, I took it out because I was telling my husband about the bail and how it looks like you did one of the bales for the... I think it's for the cross, kind of curved like that. So I really like that. Okay, here it looks like a silver. It is a silver band, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm excited now. Let's see what it says. Where did my loop go? Hmm. Well, I got, oh, here it is. I hope it says James Avery. No, it says Mexico 925. It kind of looked like that hammered band that James Avery does, but 
it's nice nice to have a nice big thick sterling silver band really cute and another oh this is pretty this is really cute little native american inspired design but it's gold and it's got its own little antique chain antique gold tone chain super cute super cute i like that a lot all right here's some more bangles this is another wood one wooden one that is super cute too and these enamel bangles are pretty too they don't have any wear at all they're very much um like a kate spade plus guys i wanted to do a face-to-face -face, as i said earlier is to test my internet even though they're going to give me a new modem on the 30th because i'll be on that auction show as well and i'm going to be doing it face to face i want to show you handbags i want to show you different things and i don't want it to be all blurry like we've had that problem before okay here's a watch i can't quite read the name it doesn't look like seiko or anything it looks like it says nasa or something so that's cool another watch gosh i have a lot of watches um i may do a watch lot too because they seem to do pretty well but i think i may do one where all of them are working here's a little floating heart it's on a really cute uh chain as well but the chain is tangled it's kind of that you know kind of like a tiffany design but in gold and we do have some matched earrings that's pretty very nice i like that and another big giant 80s earring Here's a pretty bangle. This is all these enamel ones that I've showed you. They're clampers. This one has some Greek key design, blue and white. Thank you, Tammy. I appreciate that very much. Okay. Oh, look at this. I always sell this, guys, as soon as I get it, especially if it's Whiting and Davis, but I don't see it. This is the collar. This is a fabulous bag, guys. This would definitely bring you much more than the $30 that I spent on this. Because I would probably sell this beautiful collar for at least $30 by itself. This is a well-made one, too. You can tell the cheap ones just the way they feel. They feel rough. And this one is really nice and silky with that mesh, gold mesh. This is gorgeous. Really pretty. Every time I've seen them, I just have a little tag. It, every time I've seen them, I pick them up at the thrift stores, but this was in the bag. P.A. P.A. I don't know. I don't know who P.A. is. It's two uh, initials. P.A. is how it's signed. Interesting. Here's a cute bangle. Another one. It looks like metal all around with glitter. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, this is a good bag. Even the simple jewelry like this is very nice. Look at that. I like that. Two charms on that. We have some crystal drops. My daughter will probably steal those. She loves that. Crystal stuff. In their natural form or whatever. Okay, we got a little. Yeah, it's a good bag, guys. Got a little owl with kind of a camo body. That's interesting. Isn't that cute? That's really cute. Did I show it to you, right? It's got, you know, like a camo color. I like that. I like the fact that they have their chains. So many times I get, and this is just a hair accessory. Lots of hair accessories in here, too. Don't really care for those, but, uh, you know, sometimes you get some good with some some bad little statement piece as well. Very cool, very cool. All right. Yeah, so guys, be sure and go register with MSP Auctions. Okay, this is 925 as well. Well, somebody must have gotten married or something. And then threw away the wedding bands. This is a nice rounded band, very heavy as well, 925. That's cool. Uh, because once that auction starts, guys, it's, it's kind of hard to you know email all that information to him here's a stretch beaded bracelet cool and here's a little turquoise probably faux but very pretty and i hope i find the match to it I'll keep those over here in a jar be before and then we usually match them all up here's some hoops and the requisite fake 
that I don't like. I don't like the fake puka shells. I, I don't keep those really. I usually put them in a lot. But I do like the genuine ones. And I have found some with, oh, we got a good match on this one then. And I have found some with turquoise, and they're really nice. Oop, there went my loop. Okay, here's a Pandora style bracelet. I'm going to pick that up first. I don't think it is. It's just an imitation, but it's cute. And it has kind of a Christmas theme to it. It's got what appears to be snowflakes and things. It's kind of pretty in a blue bead there as well. So that's really cute. Here is a, a pendant. This is a pretty little pendant, red star. That's pretty. Let me drink some water, guys. Losing my losing my breath here. Okay. This dry weather, cold weather always dries my throat pretty bad. Another dangle earring. Child's, I'm not even going to show you the child's jewelry. Not worth me reaching out to, to show it to you. This is pretty. This is really pretty. These are glass. Cool. Super cool. Nice tassel. Really pretty colors. Thank you so much, TGS. I really appreciate it. Sandra Smith, I'm glad you're here as well. In Bambi, I think I said hello to you, Bambi. Thanks for being here. That is really, really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. And here's another glass. These beads are so pretty. They really are. The colors are amazing. And this does have a clasp. Look how beautiful those beads are, guys. And seed beads in between stations of those. Some of these actually look hand blown or something because they're even, they're not even very uniform. Are they pretty? These are really nice. It's 24. Oh my gosh, where are you, Gabby? Thank you guys for putting the thumbs up and even the thumbs down is a wonderful blessing. I really appreciate it because it shows me that you took the time to watch my video that you don't like. Or you just don't like me, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, here's a blue one. Really pretty colored uh, shells. Kind of an abalone shell on some. And some are just like glass beads. Really cute. Here's a turtle, cute pendant with pink rhinestones. I like that. Thank you so much, Lola Sky. I appreciate it. And Rosalie Martinez. The thumbs are over by the screen. You have to go to where you see me on screen, and then you'll see two thumbs one up and one down, and you have to hit the one that goes up so you can turn it blue. Oh, here's a cute charm bracelet. It just looks like silver tone, but it's super cute. And sometimes they mix these up, guys. I have found James Avery charms in a silver tone bracelet and vice versa. This one has the rope and a cowboy and a boot. And what else? One even has a little turquoise bead on it. That's pretty cool. A saddle. This is a really cute bracelet. I like it. So check these all really carefully, guys. Last time I found three charms that were James Avery. Two were not. They were just regular sterling, and I think one was even just gold tone or silver tone. But I sold those James Avery um, charms immediately after listing on Macari. Okay, here's some gold studs, guys, and they look like they have little diamonds. But they say nickel-free on the packaging. I don't know. I'm going to let you look at them through the package because you can probably see them better. And I'll test that later. They're really tiny and they look kind of yellowish, like low grade diamonds. I don't know. We'll see. I have found some diamond studs before, so you never know. 
Okay. And here's some matching earrings. These are pretty. Hey, Anita, thanks for popping in. I appreciate you being here. Are you ready to get into a bidding war with me, Anita? Because <laughs> I am loving all of Sandy's things today. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I have to, I'm going to have to really control myself. Look at this. This is busted, but it's a really nice gold tone chain. I'll have to just find another class for it or something. Yeah, she did some amazing work, so I can't wait to get to that auction tonight. I may be in and out because we're going to, supposed to go to dinner, and um, but I don't know how long we'll be or whatever. Here's a little graduated brown bead necklace. Really pretty. And here is a gold cross. It's just gold tone, but it's pretty. I think it's an anklet, actually. It looks really big. For a bracelet, it looks more like an anklet. Yeah, the real yellow diamonds are definitely worth it, but not the ones that are not actually yellow, but just a very low grade color. Because the high grade um, colors are the really white, close to blue. Okay, here's like a looks like a Dallas Cowboy Star brooch. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know, but no, those look like if they were diamonds, they're just low grade. Not a very good color on them. Okay, so we got some broken pieces here and some hair accessories. Here's a pretty earring. Some dangles that are kind of tangled down. Fix that. And this is a cute watch. It almost looks like a Michael Kors that everybody wore a few years ago. It's got a deployment buckle. Let me see what it says. Paul. Paul Jardin. No, it's probably just a little Chinese watch. It's cute, though. It's a rose gold man's watch. Kind of fancy. With some bling on that. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Here's a cute brooch. It is, it looked like it was signed. It's really pretty, but I don't see a signature now. Yeah, here it is. Sterling. It's signed right inside there, but I'm going to show it to you first. It's a seahorse, I believe, and it is signed sterling silver. So that was a good bag, guys. We're getting towards the end. We hit the jackpot with a lot of sterling in this bag. Two kind of wedding bands. This is sterling as well, and this is very unique, very pretty. And it is signed in the back. It says sterling, and then it has like some initials around the curve area there. So super cool. Yeah, I think this is really cool. If I could find my lip, I could read it better, but I think I misplaced it now. Oh, it fell, didn't it? Here it is. That's right, it fell a little while ago. Let's see what it says. It says... Wellix. Wells. Wells Sterling. Sounds English, doesn't it? Wells Sterling is what it says. It is a very cool brooch, and that is that is a seahorse, right, Jude? That's what it looks like to me. Yes, I love when I find sterling. That is really cool. I like that. Very, very nice. And it doesn't look, you know, like, like it would be sterling. People tend to pass those up sometimes when they're whimsical like that. Oh, look at this. For the ultimate soccer mom, bling. I like that. Is it a soccer ball or is it a basketball? I can't tell. Them. <laughs> that's a basketball, right? Yeah, I think that's a basketball. The soccer ball has the little geometric, right? It's cool. I like that. Loch Ness. Yeah, that could be the Loch Ness. That's cool. All right. I don't know if I showed you this one. It's all plastic, but it's very pretty blue, ice colored. Really cute volleyball oh my gosh i'm so stupid it is a volleyball well i'm just not very athletic i i, I think i even flunked pe in my, my freshman year in high school i didn't like dressing out <laughs> yeah i did not like those classes at all here's a cute little earring cross with rents no with gold tone on the inside so it's a two-tone earring and i hope i find the other one because it's actually pretty 
Yeah, we got two bands that are sterling the brooch. That was cool. We got some. These look like uh, either mid rings or toe rings or gold tone. They almost look like a 1928 color. You know how they put out that that color. Okay, we're gonna get ready to get ready to finish here, guys. Give me just a couple of minutes and we'll be done. I have this little tangled here. These look like beads because they seem to have I don't know, like they had loops on the side to be strung on the sides. They had some little hoops or something. So that'll probably go in a crafter lot for sure. We do have some matching earrings here. These are cute. Blue. I like when they match up the earrings for us. Wow. I don't know what I would do if I'd start. Hey, Margaret, how are you? I'm so glad you're here, Margaret. I was just talking about you the other day. Oh, because I found a necklace in Chicago. And it was Sterling, Margaret, and then I have one just like it, and you pulled out one, I think about six months ago, from either a bag or, or a garage sale. It was kind of draped with different, like, multi-strands, and then they kind of draped like a little festoon design or something. And I know you picked out the same necklace. So I'm really glad you're here, Margaret. Thank you. All right, guys, we do have a bit of a tangulation for sure. We really do. But look at that cute dragonfly there. That one's really pretty. I like the way it's hanging from the sides there. And it's a really nice color. Look at that. I love it. That is pretty. And that's a nice chain, too. I, I like that. I think I would sell that on Posh very easily. And then there's just a lot of beads here. Oh, here's another. Tiffany wannabe, but it's just a child's charm with an A on it. So I'll put that in the kids' lot. There was, I think I already showed you this one. This one's busted too, guys. Some of these statement necklaces, maybe not. No, it's not. It's just like a little tassel. Yeah, that's pretty. Blue, gold tone, really long chain. Yeah, really, really long chain on that. That's cute. I got stuck in my ring. And, whoa. See, this is the one that's tangled. This is multi strand. And it's just got a, like a hammer disc on it. It does belong to this right there. But it looks like it's got a little bit of a vert vertigree stain there. So I'm going to have to isolate that, quarantine that thing, because uh, it can spread. Before I clean it, I'm going to have to quarantine that. And then I do like these beads here. Okay, we got managed to pull those out. These are really pretty. And there is a chain attached. Really pretty fall colors on there. I like that. Though I don't really, I'm not really from the school of, you know, you can wear this in the spring or you can wear this in the fall. I guess you could, you know, if it's white. To me, white is definitely summer. But the rest of these natural, you know, colors of nature, I wear year-round. But this just totally screams fall doesn't it pretty they're plastic too so they're nice and comfortable i think it was an incredible bag jude i really do i think it was really nice okay we got a little unicorn oh anita i got a unicorn got me a little unicorn earring or is it a what is it at hello pony or little pony I'm messing everything up. It almost looks like a little pony. Were they unicorns there? I think they were, right? It's cute, though. All right. And then the rest is just a bunch of little earrings. Here's a pretty bead. These are the paper beads. At least it's not stretched. That's cute. Blue and some paper beads in between. Plastic beads all around in the stations there. And I think we're going to let you go, let you guys go because we do want to get ready for that auction that I showed you. The necklace from from sandy's auction at msp auctions very very shortly it'll start very soon and before that we're going to have an interview with cindy loves jewelry over at rolling pickers oh look at this this is cute guys and it's just a broken piece i think it was a brooch it's a b see it's broken um but I just wanted to come on and like i said test my internet because i will be on that auction show on december 1st and I've been having trouble with my Mac face-to-face -face videos. So thank you for your patience with all of that. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you leave. 
If you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will do so today. I think you'll be very pleased with the content here. We do talk a lot about jewelry, but we talk about other things that include all kinds of stuff that I sell, not just on Poshmark, but I sell on eBay, I sell on Amazon and uh, Macari and everywhere else. And sometimes I just get on here and rant and rave about things that happen, you know. Because that's what I do. It's my channel, right? So thank you again, guys. Margaret, it was good seeing you here. I hope everything's going well for you in your new locale and all of that. And I will talk to you, all you guys very, very soon. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great one.